Good day, everyone. My name is Nafneet Anand, voice of cricket at Voice Article with Saurabh Anand. Saurabh Ji, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nafneet Ji. Glad to be back again. Thank you. Uh, so many surprising turns been taking place here in World Cup T20 in Australia. India has finally reached the semi-finals playing in Adelaide. Yes. I don't think you can expect any better World Cup than this, the 2020 World Cup we're talking about. This is absolutely unbelievable. Every match giving you something to surprise about. And yes, you're right. India finished on top and is playing England in Adelaide on Thursday. You know, if we talk about India versus Zimbabwe, it was a beautiful win, probably a little easier than what they would have expected to win at the moment. Uh, 51 from KL Rahul and what an inning from Surya Kumar Yadav once again. Yes, KL Rahul is, is looking good from last two games, back-to-back -back half centuries. Uh, there are still question mark over you know, the way Rohit is playing or you know the combination and the way the partnerships are going. Taking everything apart, Surya Kumar Yadav, sky is the limit for him. Absolutely thrashed every ball out of the park with his range of shots, the range of strokes, his angles, he, he doesn't leave any part of the ground empty. He just goes for it. What a gun of a player. And where was he all this while? You know, he has achieved the highest scorer in T20 World Cup in the world at the moment. And he himself didn't know that he has been the highest scorer in the world. Yes, and not just that. He is the highest scorer in this year, 2022, and have scored, what, 58 sixes in one year, which is another world record. So he's breaking all the record, good sign for him, good sign for India, and good sign for the, the finals, which we're gonna play during this week. Well, we expected more from Hardik Pandya and Virat Kohli, but I think Surya Kumar Yadav did for everybody by scoring that high score. I think this is the highest in the World Cup so far. Yes, so India's yeah, highest score in this World Cup, and then yeah, 180 odd, and Zimbabwe had no chance whatsoever. So, Sore Kumar Yadav again, absolute amazing inning. Yes, he didn't got much support from Pandya, Kohli, and Sharma. That is part and parcel of the game. Let's hope India keeps on improving and shows some fight from every player. Rohit Sharma, out of the five matches, has performed only in one match so far. That's what he does in the next two. With Risham Pant being brought in, couldn't do much either. Yeah. Let's hope Rohit is saving for the best for semi final yeah. and let's hope the finals. And Rishabh Pant, that was a good call, I think, yesterday, bringing him in. He did, like, I don't know, he didn't perform well with the bat, but his, his uh, keeping and the way he, you know, motivates all the bonus fielders, that is a positive sign. So let's hope, you know, he, uh, we can, we, we can uh, use Pant for the next match also. And if we win, then let's see what can happen in the final. You know, if you look at Bhuvnesh Kumar, the first over, he got the wicket. Arshdeep, his first over, he got the wicket. Shami, first over, he got the wicket. Hardik Pandya, first over, he got the wicket. I think brilliant performance by all the bowlers. Yes, Arshdeep, we keep talking about him. What a talent. Magnificent bowler. The way, last night, he was showing all his skills. Outswinger, inswinger, yorker, bouncer, everything. And he's got a happy knack of taking wickets in his first over. So, yes, all the bowlers performed again well. Fielding was pretty good. Ashwin did took three wickets. But I still think India could have gone with Chahal yesterday to see a different combination with that big boundaries. And Zimbabwe had few right-handers. End of the day, it's the team plan, team management, team support staff who's, uh, you know, selecting the playing 11. But yesterday was a good chance for Chahal, though. Cricket is a game of surprises, which I normally say. And if you look at the whole T20 World Cup here in Australia this time, the host country, Australia, is out. South Africa is out of the competition at the moment. And Pakistan is back in semifinals. What a performance by Pakistanis to bounce back from where they were in the first uh, couple of matches to start with and where they have reached. I think they would be playing here in Sydney uh, versus uh, New Zealand. 
Yes, this is the beauty of this World Cup. We thought West Indies was a shock elimination. Look at this, Australia, now South Africa. That is the biggest upset of the tournament. South Africa had the best chance this year with their pace attack, with their batting, with their fielding to go to the finals. Again, as always, they choked against Netherlands and now rest is history. There are a lot of question marks and there's a lot of questions to be asked from their captain, from their team. Their captain totally underperformed. 70 runs in five innings. And I don't think he deserves a place in the in, in the playing eleven or even in the squad. He is the elephant in the room for South Africa. And no. then on the other hand, Pakistan got the chance. They took it from both their hands. And although there were some nervy moments in that match, it's always when Pakistan plays Bangladesh or India plays Pakistan, Bangladesh. Yes, there were some controversies during the match. End of the day, Pakistan came back from nowhere. And now they are in the semi-finals here in Sydney against New Zealand. Well, if you look at the Indian team at the moment, do you think there should be some changes coming on? Or what are the areas we think that India needs to improve on to win the semi-finals and then the finals in Melbourne? The first of all, the most important is the opening partnership. We mm -hmm. need to have a good opening partnership. England are no pushovers. They are one of the strongest team in this World Cup on paper. And... Okay, the way they performed against Sri Lanka, it was a bit jittery. It was very nervous. End of the day, win is a win. So you cannot take any team lightly. India need to open well. India need to perform well during middle overs and the fielding. They need to give their 200% in their fielding because catches win you matches. This is what exactly I was going to say. They need to concentrate more on the catch practice as well as, uh, you know, the run out. They need to yes. be very, very careful which, which, which direction are they throwing the ball in while doing the, the run-out thing. Because it is very, very important for the player to see where do we have the best chance to win that. Of course, I'm not saying they, they wouldn't be doing it when they are playing under pressure that much. Sometimes there are mistakes that happen. Definitely. So true. So yes, keep on improving. The, there are some areas like with all the team, every team will be working hard for next two days. And then from Wednesday, it's start of semifinals. And then whoever performs well, whoever performs well on the day will be going to MCG on Sunday for the grand finale where you will have 100,000 people again. You know, if you today ask the audiences, the cricket fans all around the globe, whom do they want to see in the finals to have the best possible game that they can have, they would be voting for India versus Pakistan in the finals in Melbourne. That is going to be an absolute blast and cracker of the game. Absolutely. You, you, you can't ask for any better finale than India-Pakistan. That to an MCG. Again, to reach there, both the team needs to perform well. New Zealand is playing one of the best cricket in this tournament. They are, like, if you talk about performances, they are the best team in the tournament. It won't be easy for Pakistan to beat New Zealand. Same for India. It won't be easy to beat England. They both have to perform you know, to their max so that we can have a grand finale on Sunday. No, but at the same time, you can't underestimate India and Pakistan either. No, you cannot underestimate any team. India is like India top their group. New Zealand top their group. So it's, it, the, that shows how, how well these two teams are playing, you know. England okay. had to push hard to come and qualify, so does Pakistan. So pressure is on Pakistan and England to perform well and reach the big stage on Sunday. You know, looking forward to all these three games in the next four days. May the best team win. On this note, this is Napneet Anand from Voice of Cricket and Voice Hachal signing out with Saurabh Anand. Saurabh, thank you so much once again. Bye for now. Thank you. See you after semifinals. Bye-bye.